class. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the second day of telling time. So today our success criteria is the same as yesterday. It is, I can, now you say it. Very good. Tell time to the nearest five minutes. Your turn. Good. That's our end goal and how we're going to reach our goal, our steps, is called success criteria, which we all know. And it is, again, today, I am successful when, your turn, I identify the hour by looking at the shorter hour hand first, the shorter hour hand first, and I am also successful when I identify the minute by looking at the longer minute hand second. Okay, so that's how we're going to reach our goal again today. So today, if you did, if you made your paper clocks yesterday, you should still have them. We're gonna practice the song with our clocks a couple times again with different times than yesterday. But first, I wanted to go over some of the terms used in the song and some of our telling time vocab words. So the first telling time vocab word, also these are on the PowerPoint you should have watched as well that I make and they look just like this. It's the first math vocab word today is analog clock. Say it. Very good. That means a clock, just what it, the picture shows. It looks like this, it looks like this. There's one in our classroom, maybe you have one at your house. Some people's watches look like this. It's any clock that has the hour hand and minute hand, it's not digital. That's called an analog clock, okay? A digital clock looks like this. So like telling even, tell, it doesn't have to be like an actual clock. Like if you look at the time digitally on your tablet, on your Apple watch, on your Fitbit, on your computer, that's a digital time, that's a digital clock. So yes, you can easily tell time by looking at a digital clock, but it's also very important to know how to tell time on an analog clock. And in second grade, very important to know it's the nearest five minutes, which you guys are mastering. So I'm sure you guys are doing awesome doing your song. Oh, I forgot to say yesterday, if you want, you can send me a video of you singing the song or a picture of you with your clock singing the song. I, you know, I love to see everyone learning, so only if you want to, you can send me that. So, let's go over, oh, I also wanted to show you some things on my clock poster. So, on my clock poster, it has um, the hour hand and minute hand, just like we learned. And do you see that the clock is separated into four chunks? So, each chunk is 15 minutes. So... 15, 15, 15, 15, okay? Now, when we say half past, that means that, means that the minute hand has gone around the clock, half of the clock, that means half of an hour has passed. That's why half an hour actually means 30 minutes. So that's another vocab word. Half hour means 30 minutes. So you should have, maybe you've heard your parents say, okay, we, you have half an hour more at the park. Or um, our hour actually lunch and lunch recess together is a half hour. That means 30 minutes. So it's half of an hour. Because remember an hour, a full hour is 60 minutes. Half hour is 30 minutes. That's why in the song, when the minute hand is pointing down at the six, that's halfway around the clock. That's why the song goes, it's half past four o'clock. It's 4.30. That's another math vocab word. Half past means 30 minutes have passed. See how half the clock is shaded? Half of an hour has passed. Okay. So everyone on your paper clocks, turn your paper clocks, turn your hour hand to the Three, remember the hour hand's the shorter hand. And turn your long minute hand to the 12th. Right now, it is, tell Miss Peterson. Yes, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right now, the clock shows three o'clock. But we're gonna do it with the song and practice 
our skip tandem by fives practice telling all the times we need to know. Ready? Here we go. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's three o'clock. When the big hand's at the three, we know it's 3.15. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing, it's half past three o'clock, it's 3.30. When the big hand's at the nine, we know it's 3.45. When the big hand's going up and it's pointing up, it's now, the next hour, it's now four o'clock. Fabulous. Okay, we're gonna do it two more times and then um, you do it with your clocks. So either your paper play clock, your paper clock, or the clock you drew on a piece of paper. So sing it with us. We're gonna do it two more times and then you're gonna do today's Tuesday math telling time worksheet that was in the Tuesday folder. So everyone, let me speak or sit, I'm gonna mix it up. Everyone, put your shorter hour hand pointing at the seven, please. Do that now. Very good. And put your long minute hand at the 12 right now. This says, you're right. It says seven o'clock. Okay, let's start the song. Ready? One, two, three. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's Seven o'clock. When the big hand's at the three, we know it's seven fifteen. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing down, it's half past seven o'clock. It's seven thirty. When the big hand's at the nine, we know it's seven forty-five. When the big hand's going up. And it's pointing up. It's now a o'clock. It's the next hour. Okay, everyone, put your on your paper clocks. Put your shorter hour hand on the ten, and put your long minute hand on the twelve. And yes, this time it is You're right. Ten o'clock. Your smarties ready. One. Two, three. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's 10 o'clock. When the big hand's at the three, we know it's 10, 15. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing down, it's now, oh, it's half past 10 o'clock. It's 10, 30. When the big hand's at the nine, we know it's 10.45. When the big hand's going up and it's pointing up, it's now 11 o'clock. It's the next hour. Fabulous. Hey, one more for today. Sing it with us. Last time, best time. Do it your best to right now. Your loudest, best. And... Everyone put your short hour hand on the six. Put your long minute hand on the 12. Yes, this is what? Six o'clock. We're gonna do the song one more time, then you do your worksheet after this. Ready? Let's do it. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's six o'clock. When the big hand's at the three, we know it's 6.15. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing down, it's half past six o'clock. It's 6.30. When the big hand's at the nine, we know it's 6.45. When the big hand's going up and it's pointing up, it's now seven o'clock, the next hour. Okay, fabulous. So right now, go do your Tuesday math worksheet and I'll see you guys later. Keep being awesome. Bye.